untangling this, and it's fascinating. I well, appreciate it. Good Thank to be you. on with you. Well, are you a physician? If you are, do you think your job is to help treat people instead of killing them? Well, if you live in Illinois, tough luck. You're not wanted there. Last year, that state passed a law that requires all doctors, pharmacists, and pregnancy centers to assist pregnant women in getting abortions, even if they are morally opposed to killing. Dr. Robert Waller is an obstetrician. He opposes abortion. He's fighting this new law, and he joins us now. So, doctor, I just want to make sure that we're not mischaracterizing this. You're a pro-life physician. Obviously, you think abortion is the taking of a life. You're morally opposed to it. You are now required by the state of Illinois to facilitate it or to recommend a place to get one, if asked? That's correct, uh, Tucker. In fact, we're uh, supposed to counsel the patient on the purported benefits of abortion, which, of course, there are none. And then, if asked, to provide a referral for an abortion and also provide a list of nearby abortion facilities where the vulnerable woman could procure the abortion. A clear violation of, of our conscious rights. Um, it's, it's truly So what if you, I mean, egregious. obviously, so, so someone, someone who is sincerely pro-life, you know, just would not do that or wouldn't want to do it for sure. What if you don't do it? What if you disobey? Well, there can be sanctions and penalties and I suppose uh, eventually uh, removal of your medical license. I guess that's where this is, is heading, isn't it, um, down the road? And that's the concern, and that's why we are filing suit against Governor Rahner in the state of Illinois with the fine um, attorneys at uh, the Thomas More Society um, to really uh, stop this uh, you know, egregious attempt, at, at an end around, if you will, of, uh, of the existing conscious laws that exist uh, are on the, on the federal and the state books. Um, I mean, as, as you recall, I'm an obstetrician, so by the very nature, I have two patients. I have a mother and a, and a baby. And it's ludicrous to think that I could refer my patients off, one to be executed and the other to be mortally wounded for the rest of her life with, a, with a, a sense of regret. So we're trying to do the exact opposite. We're trying to offer an alternative to that terrible decision. Over the last 24 see, years, Tucker, I've had the... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Dr. Go on. Go I was going to say, you know, I, over the last 24 years, I've had the opportunity to deliver thousands of babies, take care of thousands of mothers, counsel many hundred mothers who were contemplating abortion and take care of mothers who are post-abortive. I've also been involved with taking care of the complications in the emergency room of the abortion procedure. And I can tell you they're horrific stories. So I cannot and will not comply with this law that is a, compl you know, a complete you know, affront to my conscious uh, beliefs, my firmly held religious beliefs that life right. is 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 uh, sacred, and my my oath and also as the a physician oath, do to, no harm. Right, my oath as a physician <laughs> to do no it, harm. I I became a physician to help people, not to harm them. It's also, by the way, it exposes the entire pro-life bumper sticker as a lie that abortion should be between a woman and her physician. Here you have politicians getting directly into medical practice and telling you as a physician what you're allowed to say to a woman in your office, which is like exactly what they say they're against, by the way. Absolutely. They're I, trying I hope, to I, We're silence. out of time, and I hope those police aren't, hope they're not coming for you for, uh, your civil disobedience, which I applaud vehemently. Good for you, doctor. Thanks for joining us tonight and explaining mm -hmm. what's going on in your state.